it's B. Um, welcome or welcome back to my channel. We're going to just do a quick energy check-in. What's happening right now? I switched my setup because I'm cold. I've got my little heater going and I'm using my bamboo table on my couch. Feeling good. <laughs> um, I got this weird song message summer nights from Greece and I don't know what that's about maybe some of you met someone briefly or you saw someone briefly and you're interested in them but there's something blocking the situation this could be somebody that you know from a workplace um, yeah it's like something would have to end for you to pursue this person or something like that so I don't know who that's for It's like, whatever this is, it's just a, a pleasant thing that's secondary to some other bigger thing. And so someone is curious about it, like somebody could be curious about you collective and it's something they're kind of just pushing to the back of their mind. Cause right now it just seems like, oh, that would have been really nice, but something that's preventing them from coming forward, at least right now. So, that's that. Maybe you'll run into this person again because I'm hearing that song. If, if we ever meet again with Katy Perry and Timberland, or whoever else was in that song. <laughs> I'll never be the same <laughs> if we ever meet again. Yeah, that song. Okay. So that you might recognize that. But let's see what's going on for the collective outside of that gonna just try to do a five card spread really quick let's keep going okay first out we have wise counselor so this would be higher font it's equivalent to the higher font all right so that's not a bad place to start first card out let's keep going Then we have the Fool, and we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, I got six cards, and then I got the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Hmm. So what it feels like starting out with this Wise Counselor card, some of you might be looking for the answers. I'm hearing uh, this song called Found by Toulouse in my mind. I'm hearing, uh, and that song is saying, I need to be found. It's like you're looking for some sense of community is what it feels like. And you're trying to maybe switch up your methods to get there. You're trying to figure out the best way for yourself to go or if you need to change or maybe what you need to tweak to find this new group. Maybe this is a group you've already been in. Like you're trying to fit in somewhere. And I have this, I, I, there's something did occur to me earlier. Sorry, I'm like Rain Man right now. Something did occur to me earlier. It's like a star can't fit in a square. Like you can't try to make yourself fit in a square. So if you're dealing with a group of people or maybe you just your personality is not like their, theirs, I feel the need to tell you not to not to be so rushing. Like don't Don't rush to conform. But maybe you're not supposed to fit in. Everybody's not supposed to fit in. At least not with this group of people. What's crossing you is the, the dreamer, which is the equivalent to the fool. A new start, trust yourself, push your fears aside, and take a leap of faith. So it's like maybe you're being asked to be yourself. And when you are yourself, the right people will gravitate towards you, whether it's within this group or it'll be somebody else from another group who sees you and sees like, wow, she's not like them. He's not like them. There's something different. And maybe that's a good thing. Maybe we could use that. Or that's just what I've been looking for, you know, something like that. And even if that's not the case, it's good for you to be your authentic self. 
because why would you want to, and I just heard dull, like why would you want to dull your shine to fit in with a group of people that maybe just don't make you feel welcome? This could be on purpose or this could just be the way it is. For whatever reason, they just don't seem to understand you or your nature and that's just, that's the way it is sometimes for certain people, especially if you are special, if you have certain gifts or if you're just a different kind of person. If you're watching this channel, if you're in a spiritual journey, you probably are a different kind of person. Somebody maybe with an extra layer of compassion or an extra layer of knowledge and an extra layer of light. Some people just can't handle that. <laughs> they don't understand it. It's not your job to make them understand it. And it's certainly not your job to shrink yourself for anyone else's benefit. Okay, so that could be a side message for someone. But yeah, crossing the wise counselor card is this dreamer card, which is this new beginning. And so maybe it's like you, you're not fitting in because you do need to take a leap and, and boldly be yourself. And then we have the queen of pinnacles following that. So yeah, it's like whatever you're doing, you're trying to be gentle. You're trying to be gentle about whatever this situation is in your earth energy. Just stepping into that energy, whether or not you have earth in your chart, it's just a matter of you trying to be, um, I wanna say diplomatic. about whatever the situation is. So you could be trying to keep the peace in a situation as well. You could be around, I'm sorry to say, cause I have felt this weird energy today too. Um, like a bleh, maybe boring or stiff energy or just people who are just not the nicest people. Um, sticks in the mud, sticks in the mud is what I'm feeling. Like you could just be kind of surrounded by a bunch of sticks in the mud. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you're trying to keep the peace in this situation and you're trying to be yourself, but you're also trying to see how you can work with this energy, this group. And so with the Queen of Pentacles here, yeah, it's like you're, you're trying to be diplomatic. You're trying to be fair to people. Even I'm getting them, they may not even deserve that from you. So if, if, if we're being honest, it doesn't feel like they really deserve the kindness and this queenly, kingly energy you're extending to them. Um, but you're doing it nonetheless, and that's probably why you're so different. Then we have for your advice, the Five of Cups. So yeah, this situation is starting to get you down a little bit, and there's a need for you to keep your perspective in a higher vibration. It's a uh, you don't need to conform. You don't need to fit in with these people. I feel like you need to realize that it's not you. You're, you're, you're working really hard to appease. Ooh, oh man. That might be a cycle for some of you guys if you're watching this. Trying really hard to make a situation work or to, it's not your job to fix everything first and foremost. Why should you be the one to have to see? You don't need to sacrifice yourself. I'm surprised I don't see the hangman out here. It feels like you've been really, really nice. You've been kind, you've been patient in this situation. You've been trying to be above board. You've been trying to not be petty, I feel like, in dealing with whatever this group is or whoever is in this group that's just been blech, stale, kind of mean, just not making an effort to welcome you in or make you feel like you're part of the group because you're not. And that's, I think, what you need to know is you're, you're not. And that's okay. You don't need to fit in with... I feel like you don't need to fit in with whoever this is. So with the, four, the five of cups here, yeah, I almost said four of cups. So there is a dissatisfaction in this new beginning. Um... You need to take a new beginning, I feel. And that's a bold statement, but I feel like you do. And perhaps there's a fear of the unknown with this. There's a fear of the unknown. But 
do you really want to stay in this situation with this group? It feels like this person or people that's just, it's like they're taking away from you. They're taking away from your light. So you don't want to stay steeped, uh, steeped in that situation for too long. Like I'm, I'm imagining a tea bag, like you getting dunked in the water, dunked in the water, dunked in the water, but the water is like murky and you're shriveling up and shriveling up. Uh, I feel like it's time for you to look elsewhere. It's time for you to start to get out of this situation because you don't want to be pulled into the same you don't want to conform to these people. For whatever reason, that's what I'm getting. Mm, what's at the bottom of this deck? I didn't even get to the outcome yet. But what's at the bottom of the deck? Sorry. <laughs> Let me adjust that. Ego. And this is the devil card. But what I love about the devil card in this deck is it just is outright ego. And basically showing you, you don't have to stay here. You don't have to stay here and be bound to this situation, whatever it is, or this group of people. It doesn't seem like they deserve you, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, and staying in this situation, I feel like you are lowering your vibration and you may not be intending for that to happen, but this environment is lowering your vibration, whatever this environment is for you. And for your outcome, if you follow this advice, with the five of cups, which is changing your perspective and looking for the blessing, maybe taking the lesson from the situation, forgiving yourself, maybe for trying to fit in with these people and not leaving sooner. The outcome is you fiercely standing up for yourself. We have the seven of wands here with the knight of swords. Yeah, because it seems like these people just wanna kill your confidence. And it may just be because that's the nature of who they are. It's the nature of where they've been in. They might have, and I'm getting like a political vibe. You know how when someone first becomes a politician, you really are excited about them because you see that fire in them. You're like, oh, they have ideas. They wanna shake things up. They really wanna change the world. And you, you believe it because they do, you can see it. But then this person enters the system, right? And then they start to see the people around them and they wanna make these changes, but every time they have this great idea and they're like, we can make this work, there are people who are pushing against them and every single pushback, every single step, pushback, pushback, pushback. I have an idea, knocking you down. We can do it this way, knocking you down. Smiling, knocking you down. We can change this for the better, knocking you down. What if we raise money for this initiative? Knocking you down. Till before you know it, you walk in one day and your attitude is completely changed from, wow, we can really make a better, we can make this a better place. We can change something for the better. You walk in and you're just like, oh, it's another day. I'm gonna just do what I have to do until I can collect my check. It makes me wanna cry. That makes me want to cry. <laughs> um, but that's what the, that's the kind of environment I'm feeling here. It's like these people, they don't want to see you shine. They don't want to see your growth. They don't want to assist your contribution. And it could just be because that's the way they are. They might have been like you at some point in their life. They might have had that same fervor <laughs> where that word's coming from they might have had that same um lust for life that's within you that light and they could just be jealous they don't like to see it now because they know that they didn't stick with it they know that they let it go they didn't win and it sounds awful but they didn't they didn't persevere and now they don't want you to persevere so it's like you can choose to stay in whatever environment this is or you can take control of the situation.
Stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge those in power, but choose your battles wisely. And for me, this feels like a choose your battle situation. I feel like with the Knight of Swords being here with the Seven of Wands, it's time for you to focus not only on this new beginning, whatever this new beginning is for you, but also on changing your perspective. Changing your perspective about what this situation has meant for you and what you can take from it. You don't have to change these people's perception of you. They see, they see you. They just don't care. They see you and they want to crush you. They wish they could be like that again, but they're not. So it's not really a matter of them not recognizing that you have something to offer. They recognize that you have something to offer. They want to change that. And I'm sorry to say that. I'm sorry to say that. Is there any additional advice for the collective about this before I move on to the archetypes? We got two cards. Justice and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, so there's a need for you to take your emotions out of the situation. And what I'm getting with that is for me, it's pulling on this five of cups energy and this dreamer energy all together with the justice. Like you're trying to make peace or keep peace with people who are not peaceful. And that's not your job. And this goes back to a space of people pleasing. If I had my surrender cards, I'm sure that that surrender people pleasing card would come out. Why would you wanna please these people? They're not trying to make you happy in any way. It seems pretty clear. So with the justice card here, the advice says, be impartial and, object and objective. Try to see all sides of the situation. You'll win if your position is one of integrity. So it's like, I feel like that's you will win in moving forward out of this situation. You know there's something else you could be doing. You may need to go within and evaluate that. Evaluate yourself. What else could you be doing right now than putting your energy into this where should your energy be going because it shouldn't be going into trying to change the minds of these people and with the ten of cups we have happy marriage happily ever after emotional contentment a loving relationship with their children raising children wisely and successfully people you can trust you don't trust these people you've been You've been in this situation trying and trying and trying, but you don't have any sense of security with these people. There's no security, there's no trust. And I feel like that's not changing. That's what I'm feeling here. At the bottom of the deck we have the page of cups. <laughs> this is so cute. Look at the little dolphin. A beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship or deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights, a love letter, a new home. New, 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 new. Because whatever this is, it's stale. It's blech. Whatever blech is. I don't know how to spell that. Otherwise, I put it in the title. Because that's what this situation is. And it's pulling on your energy. You don't want your energy to be transforming and conforming to blech. It's time for you to pull yourself out of this. And go towards something new. And only you'll know what that is for you. But something that gives you justice and people you can trust. <laughs> this camera angle is weird. This is just gonna keep you off balance if you keep staying in this situation. I don't know why 
let's see, why does the collective feel they have to stay in this situation? Because I feel like you have some sense of obligation to these people. Why does the collective feel like they have to stay in this situation? Death. Renewing the past with compassion, reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head in a new direction. Clarity on your life purpose. In your heart, you know what to do. This is just confirmation. <laughs> you may have felt like this thing was the new beginning for you, but I think it wasn't. I think perhaps whatever this is, the situation, it was another test for you. And now you're being guided to leave it and really begin this new journey. It's time. It's like you have what it takes to move forward. And maybe you're thinking in your, your mind, I can make this work. I can make this work. If I do this, they'll do that. No. I don't think these people are going to change. And I said you have what it takes to make, you know, to make the change. And Magician is here at the bottom. If you believe it, you can do it. And I'm hearing that song, Be Optimistic. As long as you keep your head to the sky. And look, in this dreamer card, his head is to the sky. Yeah. Being around this group of people, and you are supported by the angels. <laughs> This, this group of people or this environment, it could be a neighborhood you're in, it could be anything, some place that you are that you don't belong. And you don't belong there because you're, you've outgrown it. You don't belong there because you're a star and it's a dull square. And I'm, that's just kind of the situation at hand. Let's pull out the archetype cards. Yeah, Avenger is here at the bottom already. It's like maybe you thought you had to change a situation. You probably already have changed them to a degree because they see like they see that you aren't conforming to them. And they're like, huh, we haven't been able to destroy them. But even the fact that I'm saying that, it's like this group is not a positive group. They're not positive. It's not something you want to stay in. What do I want to ask? Whoa. Wow. I didn't even get anything out and Slave came out. And now my throat is acting up. Slave. Light attribute. Surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. Shadow attribute. Giving your willpower to an external authority out of fear of making your own choices. Yeah, it's almost like you're you're seeking approval from this group, this person or people or place. You're seeking their approval, but you don't you're not doing anything wrong. It's just not your environment. So what you need to do to be in the light attribute of this archetype is to surrender to the change that's being supported energetically with the magician and the death and the fool in the higher font, it's like, listen, listen, listen. Oh, wow. You know this, you've known this for a while, but you're ignoring it. It's time for you to get out of this situation, whatever it is. Wow. Yeah, because the Avenger is here at the bottom of the deck again. Desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. Don't get too caught in that righteousness. You've done what you could in whatever situation this is. Now it's time for you to bounce. They'll see you from a distance. They'll be like, I knew, I knew them back in the day. I remember when I worked with them. I remember when she was our friend. I remember when he was our friend. He was a good person. Yeah, no, she was really cool. You don't have to stay in this group, whatever it is. 
I just heard you've served your time. You've served your time. Okay, so free yourself. All right, rescuer, light attributes. Provide strength and support to others in crisis. Acts of love with no expectation of reward. Shadow assumes that the rescued will reciprocate. They're not reciprocating for you. And it's not healthy for you to be in a one-sided situation for too long. And I feel like the milk is spoiling. The milk is spoiling. Storyteller, light attribute, ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols. Shadow, making up tales that harm others. You could be dealing with somebody like this. You could be around people who lie for their own personal gain and benefit. In whatever kind of environment that is, you don't want to be around that. Like, storytellers are fun at story time. But if you're just telling stories 24-7, I don't got time. And I feel like it's time for you to leave. And I know I keep saying it, but I feel like it's really being driven home because it needs to be driven home right now. You need to be taking action is what I feel, okay? Then what do we have here? Artist. And I love art and I feel like artists watch my channel. I do because I'm always getting messages about art and through art. Light attributes, expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life symbolically. Shadow, using talent as an excuse to mistreat others. Posing as the starving artist to elicit pity. So you have a liar and manipulator around you in this group as well. You have somebody that tells stories and you have someone who plays the victim. You have somebody that it's like they paint themselves in a way. They're painting a, they're painting a picture and it's not one that puts you in a good light, even though you've been rescuer, slave, trying to help and be helpful in this situation. It's not working. And I think that's because you need to leave. It's not supposed to work. You're not supposed to fit in with these storytellers. You're not. Don Juan. <laughs> Spotlights, your positive, seductive qualities, okay? Using the power of romantic attraction for private agendas. Somebody could be lying, and I don't know if this is a separate message. It, could, it feels like it could be separate, but somebody could be lying about something to do with sex, something to do with romance. Somebody could have made up a lie. Some kind of lie about your romantic life or their own romantic life. Somebody could have lied about being with you. Somebody made something up here that's coming through pretty clearly. There's some kind of lie or rumor or gossip and you may not know about this at all. And so you, meanwhile, you're like, da, 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 da. how can I make this place better? You know, and God bless you for that. <laughs> but these people do not deserve it. It's time for you to get out of this situation and I say that with love. I feel like you're being really, this message is being driven home because it's high time you see your value and get out of whatever this situation is. Don't fit in with these people. A star does not need to fit into a dull square. My loves, I will see you soon. Bye.